Now, 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 I'm gonna let you know right now, the Cowboys are absolutely garbage. Yo, it's your boy Jay Bobby. This is episode 19, Jay Bobby vs. the Internet. Yeah, it's a little loud coming in. We here, we here with Emily Austin, and we got the Kid Gowie. The Kid Gowie, introduce yourself, the YouTube star, the Instagram star, the TikTok star. Yes. Do your thing, bro. Go ahead and go ahead and gas me up. Yeah. I'm the Kid Gowie. <laughs> All the things that he said, and yeah. then some. Content creator, entertainer, call me whatever you want, but just don't call me broke. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. We get into the bag over here. <laughs> All right, we got Dylan Brooks going out with Shannon Sharp. Now, first and foremost, the, the first thing that stands out to me is that tight ass sweater that Shannon Sharp got on. <laughs> God, dang, well, he, he he weigh about a three X, but that's about a medium at the most. Oh, I wasn't aware he was a coach standing on the sidelines, standing up, yelling at everyone. Good job. Hey, they got that Carnegie in the Raptors, man. That's going in the Hall of Fame. Oh, bro. Steve Adams <laughs> wanted to square up with him. Okay. Hey, Steve Adams and Shannon Sharp would be a good fight. Both Ooh, of them are strong as hell. Good fight. Are you choking? Shannon will get destroyed. You know, uh, Shannon Sharp. You, do you see that dude? He's Towering over him. So Shannon yeah, Sharp is Jack, Shannon? bro. Like, hey, <laughs> Shannon works out his mouth too much. Steve Adams is actually physically working on his body. We <laughs> might have to put that picture. Shannon Sharp. No, we're gonna, I, I see him. We're, here. Gonna, we're gonna educate you. We're gonna the, get you. That sweater that he has on, I know it's a little small, Not doing but that's, him that's all muscle. That's like Method Man said, we're gonna learn you. We're gonna learn you. <laughs> but I feel like the Grizzlies is, is basically a Call of Duty lobby that can hoop. So <laughs> all they do is talk shit. You didn't have people, LeBron. Hey, don't don't start talking trash now. Like LeBron yeah, be pissed shot. off. I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Team Moran made had to do his best usher rendition and dance his way ass out of there. <laughs> Shannon was like, I yeah. bet you won't. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you won't. Like, that's not a Team Moran was like, yeah, I'm right. You're right. <laughs> You're right. I won't. Yeah, they made up. Like, that's yeah, exactly what I would do. I'd be like, hey, bro, I don't want no smoke. <laughs> I, I love your work. I love the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who is this guy? How are you liking the new 21 Savage and Drake album? Oh, the new album? Yes. Oh, that joint is fire. As a matter of fact, I know every single lyric on that album from start to finish. Oh, really? So what's your favorite lyric? <laughs> <laughs> so when did you start doing the whole like LeBron like impersonation thing? So what happened was- Wait, that's uh, him? Yeah. yeah. So I did the LeBron James challenge <laughs> about 2017. Mm -hmm. Went viral. It was on different shows, all the other stuff. And I was like, okay, people rock with me for this LeBron stuff. Let me just start doing LeBron skits. So yeah. it started in like 2017, 2016. Yeah. Could you do like fake scenarios of him lying about the most out of pocket things ever. Oh yeah, I could definitely do something crazy with LeBron because he lies about literally everything. He'll have a book in his hand that he's never read and be Page like, two. he's a smart man, um, I a, ver a very, very smart man. I can't lie, that Beethoven one killed me, bro. I'm what like, bro, he, he you said, feel me? Well, I listen to a lot of uh, like Beethoven and shit too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like classical. like classical music too. The same way he knew Kobe was gonna drop, so yeah, okay, we yeah. heard it before. It was just something in the air that I just knew he was going for 81 that night. <laughs> it came to me in a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Before this even happened, I saw Zeke line up at center and I was just confused. I'm like, oh, they're actually going to go through with this. Yo, what is Dallas doing? Hey, look, man, they blew that man Zeke up like an air mattress. It was, <laughs> it was terrible. They, that man ain't stand a chance. As soon as he hiked the ball, he was on the ground. Where yeah. I saw people were throwing their TVs out. Yeah. People were smashing like their phones. My yeah. favorite thing about this is that the wide receiver that got drilled after he tried to throw it back when he was already <laughs> down. Like, bro, the play's over. Yes, I get it. football. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> I feel like in the press conference, Conference, the Dallas Cowboys need to come out with the game film and really try to walk us through on what they had envisioned for this play. Because whatever they had envisioned, <laughs> it did not go that way whatsoever. I need an explanation for this. I Yo, need it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, wow. him, him coming up like that is crazy. If you go back to the beginning, you see him waiting. Literally yeah. waiting there, yeah. Like when you hear that noise, that's for him to go. <laughs> up, I'm trying to understand why every time Skip is doing something, he's breathing like Darth Vader. Like, bro, <laughs> damn, take a deep breath, get it all out, and do what you need to do. I thought he was gonna like burn it or chuck it out a window. All he did was like barely make it into a garbage can. I don't know. What and then he on. walked back like he was constipated. So I was just <laughs> so confused by that. Oh, I thought that was my phone. Yeah. <laughs> so the people want to know if you could do a Stephen A impression right now. How about them cowboys? 
<laughs> now, 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 I'm going to let you know right now, the Cowboys are absolutely garbage. I mean, you got Dak Prescott. He can't throw beyond, uh, he can't throw beyond three feet, and he's absolutely trash, and he needs to get on the first thing smoking and get the hell out of Dodge. Because right now, that's all I can say, and, and it's absolutely blasphemous that he would even try to step back into the AT&T Stadium. Wow. Amazing. That was so that. good, it actually <laughs> triggered my fight or flight. So good job. <laughs> <laughs> Steven always got to be dramatic. The high octave, the low octave. Yeah, and how does it, like, he always goes down. <laughs> Like he's a and, a, a, and then and then a random big word somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta mix the big words in there. Blasphemy. Which is why he stutters a lot. And <laughs> that 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 is blasphemous. Well, Stefan Diggs, you know, he didn't have a good game. Obviously, he lost. He's upset, and this is him yelling at Josh Allen. Do you think that there's trouble in paradise? Hey, look, I'm gonna put this simple. The Baltimore Ravens need a receiver. So mm. if you want to ship Stefan Diggs out, we could definitely use him. So if there's trouble in paradise, matter of fact, I hope it's trouble in paradise, <laughs> and we're gonna make that trade for Stefan. Bring him back to Maryland, you know? With Trace McSorley as your quarterback. <laughs> oh hell no! Hey, hey, Trace is in Arizona somewhere. We've been shipped hey, him out. Hey, he coming back. He coming right back. <laughs> hell no. <nah. laughs> I went to Buffalo this weekend to interview some Cincinnati fans before they got the dub, by the way. So let's tune in. If you can get rid of anybody on your team, you have to answer, who would it be? Jonah Williams! Oh. Whenever a lineman doesn't come through today. Eli Apple? Be, Eli's our guy. He's okay. a Buckeye. Let's go with him. Sorry, Drew. Why, well, Drew? I didn't know else to pick, honestly. He's a punter. I apologize. Punters are people, too. It is Drew Sample. I don't like him. Here you go. I think I'm riding with him. Drew Sample. Cam Britt Taylor. Hey, make him take that bag. Who we pick it? Josh Allen. The, what? Pat Beverly here is trolling Dame, Dame Tom, and then Dame went on and called him Flip from above the rim. Yeah, Pat Bev, he's definitely a character. Uh, he's going to put on a show no matter what. You can't break Pat Bev's confidence. Pat Bev's confidence is basically like Michael Jordan, mm -hmm. but it's Michael Jordan and the guy who isn't even a fraction of Michael Jordan. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's kind of just like, all right, Bev, we get it. You bring that energy, that toughness, but... You're not that guy. Like, okay, okay, take him out of this equation. Did you see that video that went viral of the kids on the court that are like- I love that. Yeah, yeah I love it too. <laughs> you know what? They're mocking these adults and I just think some of them are outrageous. So when I see that, I'm like, come on, do it again. Yeah. Mock another player next time. Go like this, go like this. To that point that you made, KD made a good point. He was just like, when we were younger, we did everything that we saw like the NBA players do. Yeah. So it's just like, when people were acting like, oh, this is crazy. I'm like, it's they're harmless. just doing, yeah, they're just, that's every kid. Okay, Ooh. so Ben Simmons reportedly wants his 800,000 engagement ring back. He gave his former fiance, Maya Gemma. That's how you say it, Gemma? 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 Well, whatever it is, she a bad mama jamma. That's what it say, it say mama jamma on it. This cool. man gets straight doms off the court. I think he's averaging about, what, look, five, six, seven assists this year. Mm -hmm. He's averaging tens. Ben Simmons keeps a baddie. <laughs> You go see you go see a new one soon. I saw them at summer league. They sat right next to me, and I'm like, "Oh, is, that must be like his wife, girlfriend, or something." Then literally a week later, I heard that they split, and I was like, "Hmm, <laughs> what happened in Vegas, Ben?" If I, I were Maya, dog. I would have been like, "Take your." Back. Like you'd have thrown it. That's, I would have thrown it at him. That's, that's eight hundred dollars. I wouldn't like throw it in the ocean. I'd be like, screw you and your ring. You know, I don't, I don't need your pity ring. I mean, <laughs> that's eight hundred k pity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that eight hundred thousand, I'd have kept it and pawned it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you file a lawsuit for that? Before we get out of here. Is it Baltimore or Baltimore? Baltimore. 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 That's like when my brother calls Utah Utah. If you're from Baltimore, Balt Baltimore, Maryland. It's Baltimore, Maryland. That, it's, okay. it's supposed to just flow Guys, the Utah out. Jazz is killing it. Utah. Utah Jazz. <laughs> so how do you feel about people in like Baltimore accents? You know, I work on mine. So it's one of those situations where people will hear it slip up and oh, they'll really? be like, oh, say do too again. And I'm like, nah. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> what voice just came out of your body? Come on now, I'm Pixar, bro. Listen. Like Pixar. <laughs> <laughs> Avenue, Avenue. Avenue, <laughs> you wish you would. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy. So give your handles and where people can find you. Just do the whole spiel. Okay, so you can find me on all platforms. It don't matter. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. It's at the Kid Gowie. That's D-A-K-I-D-G-O-W-I-E. Once again, D-A-K-I-D-G-O-W-I-E. You know, I got to make it sound like those little lawyer commercials. <laughs> Hi, guys. This is my third appearance on J. Bobby's Maybe your fourth. Show. Oh, this is my fourth. I knew that, obviously. <laughs> um, at Emily.Austin on IG and everything else, Emily R. Austin, because Emily Austin doesn't want to give me my username back. So shout out to her. Would really appreciate if you see this and give me back my username. But for now, Emily.Austin and Emily R. Austin. 
Um, like I always say, for your sports betting tips, go to thegameday.com. You must be 21 or over. If you have an addiction, 1-800-GAMBLING. And let's get to it. Thank you, guys. It's been a great show. This has been episode 19. Holly, we out. J. Bobby versus the internet. Gang, gang. If you like what you saw today and you like J. Bobby versus the internet, like and subscribe.